so happy you can join me on this beautiful day. Hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. I'd like to start out by thanking all my viewers and all my subscribers that visited my site. I do appreciate it. What I got going on here today is I think I'm going to do a golf scene. Palm trees, beach, maybe some waves coming in, maybe a big wave crashing in. I got a pre-stretch canvas 16 by 20 what I did was I spray painted it with your local hardware or ceramic spray paint a blue the whole thing I covered it with blue then what I did was I took a thin coat of liquid clear put that all over once the paint dried this is going to help the oil paints the wet on wet I'm tempted to do today to go on the canvas a lot better lot smoother and you'll have a better coverage with it so like I said I got this tape line going across here from my horizon where I thought we'd start out by doing some sky so I'm gonna take a fan brush just like that and I'm gonna load up with some maybe some white maybe put some clouds in Maybe some clouds. Just like that. Maybe we'll start out here. Circular motions. Leaving gaps in between because you don't want it all to be the same brightness, the same whiteness. Change the hue, the colors. Get into some more white. When you start painting, you're going to look at the sky differently. At least I do. You look and see the way the clouds really look. You got all kinds of things happening. Further away, just like that. Just barely tapping. Running across the canvas. Maybe back here we can put some brighter ones. Maybe the palm trees cover that up. Get us some more white. Maybe there's a big cloud right here in the middle. Got a big one down here. Maybe it goes right over. Just run them all across. Now what I'm going to do is go into this blender brush kind of blend everything in, just using the corner of the brush. Just tapping it where you think you might want to defuse it. 
pipe, right? Maybe you want to fluff it up. Leave some of that dark area. Just want to fluff it up a little bit. Look at all kinds of different things happening back there. The colors that's already on there, the blue, kind of makes it interesting because behind it, and with the white I put on, you get a purple, a purple look. And with that happening, you even get maybe some darker clouds. You didn't have to put any colors on there, just the white. But with this liquid white on here, it really makes a difference. Might not be able to see this wherever you're at, but here, when you're doing it, you choose to paint along with me at home or wherever you're viewing this at, you'll see different things happening. You can just keep working it all the way down. I think what I see here maybe we'll cover this up all together. Make it be a big cloud here. Maybe it goes all the way down. All the way off in the distance. To the horizon. white into this. Leave a little gap down there. I'm just scrubbing it in. Seeing what I think type of clouds that I want. Maybe maybe we can add a bigger one up here. blender brush again, just tapping it in. Taking that edge off.
Maybe. Maybe I'm going to come across on the horizon right here along that tape line. Where it's always lighter down there. I'm just blending this in. What I'm going to do is pull it up now from the horizon and have it blend in with the blue. Using that blender brush. away. Maybe it blends right in with the clouds. And you get that misty look now when you go across. lighter right in here. Just keep working it back and forth. light over there. Alright, step back and you can get a different angle of it. I think that looks good to me right there. I'm going to pull this tape off. Get that line going. in line. We're going to leave a little blue down here dark because that's the way it looks in the ocean. Then we're going to come in down here and put some lighter blue in. Almost like a phalo blue. Phalo blue with some liquid white. Load it up on the fan brush. Just like that. Maybe we'll determine where we want the line to be. Just go across. Straight as you can. get some more happening right in there like that. Right in the middle. Just darken it in just like that. Take the 
blender brush. got some waves going different depths happening just with the just with what we put on there now what I'm going to do coming with another brush like that. So I load up some white, titanium white, liquid white, both sides. I'm going to come in and determine where I want the big wave to be. We're going to have a white sand. It's going to be more of a gray looking because that's the way the sand looks. Maybe we'll have a big wave coming right in here. Maybe it crashes down. Right like that. It does now. <laughs> All I'm doing is just marking it in. Grabbing some more. Getting more of an edge on here now. The top of the wave when it starts to crash. Getting some more paint. Be a little thicker here. All the way down. this coming just the top here maybe where it's breaking off the top paint thinner. That's always a good thing to use. Load up the fan brush with some white again. Mostly liquid white. Just like that. I'm come in here and work on this water. Turning the brush over. Just like that. Maybe take that edge off that top there. Just a little bit. Now, what I think we'll do. Come in with a smaller brush. 
get the eye of the wave. Maybe use some yellow, cadmium yellow, liquid white, and the blue that's already on there. We'll leave this black mark right along that top there. Just scrubbing it in. Yellow and white. Maybe a touch of green there. How the ocean looks when it's coming in. And it has some of that green in there. circular motions kind of blend it in get that eye of that wave Doing a circular motions. Circular motions. Adding more white. Right where we want that eye to be. We'll come back and we'll blend it in. breaking up like there's foamies happening right at the bottom of the waves right in there you can pull some of this white down where it's coming right off the top of the wave my 
brush over where I got the white whiteness part more. sky in there. I want it to be just a wave part. You can use napkins or paper towels. I got some napkins here. Beat the excess off. And you want to come in here just with the corner like you did the like you did with the clouds. And just pull down. Get the angle, the angle of the wave. this up a little bit. We use this two-inch pressure that we use for the liquid clear. I'm going to use the corner and tap this up. What I'm doing now is pushing up right where the right where it was foamy. The wave started breaking up there. You can probably almost do that all along. All along the top here, just a little bit here and there. Make it misty. Because if you notice, when you see the waves crashing in, they got that misty. Take the fan brush with the white on it. I'm going to come in. Pull some stuff down here. Get the angles going. Here and there, that's all you gotta do. Get that break look. Wiping off a lot of that white. I'm gonna come in here. Pull this down. See all this stuff happening in here. Okay, got that going on. I'm going to come in, two inch brush with some white just on the corner. I'm going to get this foamy stuff going at the bottom of the wave. Just tapping it, rounding the edge off just a little bit. coming in and tapping it. Just like that. Let me see. Use the 
fan brush. We'll get a little action going just on the corner, just like we would if we're doing the clouds. Circular motion. Breaking. Now we're going to take the brush, just like we did up there, and tap it in. Diffuse it. Blend it in. Circuit, circular motions. All the way down. Blending it all in. Right to where it looks like it's just foamy. Foamy at the bottom. Kind of blends in. Just like that. Just what you want to create. Now I'm going to come back in to the smaller brush we had going on. Got to clean it real quick. Go into some white. Maybe we can have another wave in here. Running all the way back. What I'm doing is making that line and then pulling back on it. You want that foamy, foamy look. Leaving a gap in between them. In between each row, gives it some depth. Who knows, maybe back here we got some waves. Off in the distance. We can come back into some white. And highlight some back here maybe. The harder you tap, the more it makes it look like a wave is crashing back there. A few of them coming in. Off in a distance. down here I think just before we put the just before we put Blender brush again, 
pull down. liking this so much I might not even put no beach in I'm liking the way it looks the reflection I don't want to ruin none of this down here I want to take away from it anyways let me put it that way I just put some palm trees in, get some stuff happening over here with the waves. Get some choppy, maybe some stuff happening down here. Maybe the reflections of the, the mist. The mist was doing something right here. it up, get it closer to that water line, I think. Now what I think I can do is maybe highlight Highlight some of that. Highlight some of that edge there. Right in here.
makes it pop a little bit more. Maybe we'll put some palm trees over here. I think that's what we'll do. Put that in there. Palm trees are kind of a grayish look. So that's what I'm going to mix up. A little bit of black and gray. Maybe, oh, who knows. I really don't want to cover up that wave. I'll put them over here. Maybe there's one right here. Goes right off the canvas. There's another one. Just above it. another paintbrush here get some white going on and maybe highlight maybe highlight around what we think the reflection might be or the light source. All I'm doing is tapping this all the way up. some off and you come in here and start to pull it of a curve. Get the look of the curves of the palm tree. That's oh, got the stuff. Every so often you'll see Keep loading it up with white. Now we're going to come in. This 
some sap green. Oh, who knows? Maybe some yellow. For the palms. it up on that brush. Same brush we've been using, just like that. Both sides. Maybe, who knows. I'm just going to tap it. So I can get a, an angle. tapping. Tapping and going back and forth. Back and forth and back and forth. And separate in its own. You make it as big by just tapping down. I just keep adding, just keep adding paint as I go.
each one separate in itself, which makes it interesting because you can make it as long or as short as you want. And you can fill it in however you'd like. Maybe here we got another one. All kinds of different colors and textures. Maybe we'll have one coming up here. happening all over the place. Oh heck, I think I'm going to put one right here. Highlighting it here and there. and stuff.
I'm just adding. I'm just trying to enhance it. Make it darker towards the middle here. And maybe as they go out, it's lighter. Same thing down here. I'll do. Maybe put some seagulls over here. Go into some liquid clear, some gray color. I want them to stand out. Let's see how this color works. Maybe in the clouds. Well, it needs to be darker than that. For it to show up. one coming in. Like always, we'll make them in threes. Maybe that one's even closer. Well, looks like we have a completed painting here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign it like I always do on the bottom, the bottom corner. And I always like putting the year in. I hope you enjoyed this one. Did it with more of the blue, get it more of an ocean look to it instead of the green that I always like to do. The palm trees I did differently. Instead of using a fan brush, I used a brush just like this. The straight edge, real thin. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back and see me and visit my site. Have a nice day.